Hi, families. Uh, it is uh, November 2nd. Wow, already. Very cool. Happy November. It's already almost Thanksgiving and a lot to be thankful for, um, specifically uh, this great group uh, of learners. Uh, this weekend, as I told the class, I had the privilege of reading through all of their job applications. And it was a fairly laborious task, but one that I sort of uh, it was quite easy to dig into because uh, overall they did an incredible job um, and, and it was a lot of fun to invest in their interests and their own excitement within their, their education. So overall, very, very cool and uh, incredibly well done. Um, we did give out jobs today. So every student in our classroom has a job. Uh, which is exciting because on 90 something percent of it, I was able to actually give the students one of the jobs that they had actually applied for. Um, there was a bunch of jobs that had eight, nine applicants, and uh, there was a lot of varying factors that went into that. Uh, but very cool nonetheless uh, to see the impact that it can have on a, a local level and then hopefully grow that as well. Um, the students kind of got to put themselves into their own desk arrangements, and that's uh, twofold. One, um, in our IB system, student voice and choice is so important. And secondly, the goal is to hopefully allow the students to help hold each other accountable. Uh, by choosing their own uh, arrangements, the hope is that they are on task more uh, because they don't want to go back to a system where the teacher is always choosing. So. Um, that's the long-term goal, and this is something that I am uh, looking to experiment a little bit with. Uh, but if I have to go back to the old system, that will be something that I am not too hesitant to do. Um, on an academic level, in math, we played uh, bingo today. We were doing rounding um, decimals. So, for example, you know, you were either rounding to tenths, whole numbers, hundredths, thousandths. Um, and the students uh, were a little slow at the beginning with it, but really took off in the end. There was a lot of learning and a lot of conversation. And it, again, just playing a lot of games in class that really uh, take away a lot of barriers to learning when there's games, prizes, and excitement on the line. So a lot of fun. Our book, we started today. We read the first 12 chapters, and we actually hooked up with a class from uh, Texas today. So uh, we have been now in conversation with two classes, one from Oregon and one from Texas. Uh, this conversation, much like the other one, had its challenges. Um, when you only have a small screen and 24 students, everyone wants in. Uh, we had some challenges, people pushing other people, silencing other people. So we had to have a fairly stern conversation at the end of the day, uh, just before French class, so that we can make sure that these conversations are more inclusive. Um, and uh, more productive, but also allowing that everyone has an opportunity to be successful, both seen, heard, and other. Um, I'm going to send a link home with you that is fun, but I, I wanna make sure that I'm respecting uh, people's and families' uh, desires for uh, kind of thinking of you know moving to Mars. Uh, but if you are interested, here's a fun little thing. Today, I booked my ticket to Mars. Uh, and I thought if I showed up uh, with without booking my family also, so I do have uh, one for my son and I don't know where I put my wife's, but it's here somewhere, uh, I hope. Oh, there it is over there. Um, maybe we'll leave her behind. Just kidding. I didn't say that out loud. Um, however, uh, if you are interested in it and it's, it's a great bring it home, uh, this is a great activity to spark a conversation about our book also, uh, which is a huge point towards these videos. Uh, so allowing you to do something with your family and maybe it even uh, the whole family gets on board and it's a collaborative effort. Uh, and like I said in our earlier videos too, uh, that this is a fun opportunity for you to have conversations with your sons or daughters. Uh, I wanna highlight some really cool awesomeness. Uh, when we talked the other day about our Terry Fox uh, infographics, uh, here are uh, a lot of the amazing art pieces and information uh, sheets done by your children and something that I'm incredibly proud of. The artwork is incredible. The information is exceptional. This one's really cool. It's quite unique. 
uh, very much so lifelike. This one's one of my personal favorites because the head is massive and they brought it home uh, on the body. So many incredible things happening here uh, in our class. I won't show you all of them, but I will send more videos and more pictures at another time. Uh, just awesome, awesome altogether. Lastly, science. Uh, and that's specifically about our IB, who we are. Uh, we did a lot of standing science today, simply meaning uh, I used a Google 3D image of the skeletal system. And instead of just looking at a picture, we all stood up and, for example, um, we had, uh, okay, where's your skull? But then we were talking about how the skull has multiple bones and being bald, I used that to my advantage. And I showed them how my head, I don't know if you can see it, but has uh, certain cracks in it and how that's actually four different pieces of bone uh, meld together. And then the students were feeling their hair lines and trying to find those little cracks within their hair. Uh, and that was cool. The students got a giggle out of me being bald and using that to my professional and academic advantage. Um, but then we were even doing the sternum and the spine and the tibia, fibia. Um, ooh, even the humerus bone. Uh, we even talked about how what's the femur. We were talking about the biggest bone in the body. So a lot of really interesting questions, thoughts uh, going around. And tomorrow we're just going to do a really simple... Um, little simple thing where I have a little uh, body, a little skeleton. I'm just going to ask the students individually if they can identify certain small bones or bones, I shouldn't say, but small. Uh, and then what they're going to have to do, a part of their assessment for this is they're going to have to uh, ask uh, five questions per each uh, <clears throat> system. So, and then what I'm going to use is that information like I've done for other things in the past. And I'm going to create a really cool science test using their questions. So uh, just like student of the month is very student driven, I try to have their assessment even be student driven. So what I do is I read through all the questions. Um, I will do questions specifically by system. So I'll break them down. Um, and then the students are going to have the ability to on their, their little quiz to see that, hey, that was my question. That's really cool. So it allows them to understand education full circle. Um, and uh, it's something that I am a firm believer on specifically within this IB unit, uh, well, all IB units, but the IB learning. Um, very cool. Thank you so much for your time. I apologize for going on here. I look forward to seeing uh, whoever tomorrow at Meet the Parent, Meet the Teacher. Uh, there is a Jays game going on, so hopefully uh, we can all enjoy a, a root rah-rah and uh, be patriotic together. The Jays start their uh, playoffs tomorrow against Minnesota. So awesome. Thank you to all of you families. Happy uh, last week before Thanksgiving already. Crazy. Take care. Bye now.